Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvahs HaKotzar. Today is Mitzvahs Loisa saying negative commandment Kuf Ayin Ches 178. Shaloi Yei Gever Ala Isha. A woman should not wear man's clothing. Shinema, like it says, Lo Yei Gever Ala Isha. The clothing of a man should not be on a woman. Vahaino, what does that mean? When there are clothing or certain types of jewelry and ornaments that everybody in the city knows, that's how men dress. A woman should not wear them. Nor should she shave her head like a man. Men shave their heads. Women should not be shaving their heads. This applies everywhere all the time. We look around the world today and we see, and we're going to see the next halacha as well, this is not something that the world is very familiar with. Because when you walk on the streets, you can't always tell who is who anymore because the women are walking around dressed as men, getting themselves very short, shaved heads. They are wearing pants, they're wearing men's sh- shirts and sweatshirts, men's shoes and the like, and therefore they're dressing like men, and losing the essence of what it means to be a woman, unfortunately. The reason that we dress in a certain way is because it is, a, is an expression of the essence of who we are. Men are men and women are women. And when a woman dresses like a man, she wears men's clothing, so she's losing the connection to the essence of her femininity and who she truly is. But listen to the next halacha. Kuf Ayin Tes 179, Mrs. Loisa say, the negative commandment shalom yilbash gever simlas isha. A man is not allowed to wear women's clothing. Shinema, like it says, Velo Yilbash Gever Simlas Isha. It says it explicitly in the verse, and that is that a man cannot wear the clothing of a woman. Simlas Isha, I know what does it mean, the clothing of a woman? Begodim Vesachshitin, it means clothing and jewelry and the like. Shema Forsim Be'ir, Shem Yuchadim Isha. Everybody knows that those are women's clothing. A dress is a woman's clothing. Uh, earrings. Bracelets, those are women's clothing. Rings even, those are what women wear. So how is it possible then that a man is going to be wearing a dress? A woman is the one that puts nail polish on her nails. How is it possible that a man is going to color his nails with nail polish? That's all the way that women dress. The chen ish, and so too. Let's say you don't wear women's clothing. And let's say that you're a... You're secure in confidence in your mascul- masculinity and therefore you dress as a man and you act as a man and you look like a man. However, says the Chavetz Chaim, ish, levanois, if a man has some white hairs on his head or on his beard and he says, you know what, I don't like the way the white hairs look, let me remove them so that I have a blacker beard. From his head or from his beard, even one white hair he removes from the black, or he has gray hair and he colors it, he dyes it black. Even if he only does one white hair, he dyes it black. On each one of the hairs that he either plucks from his from his beard or his hair, or that he colors and dyes black, or even on each one, he transgresses the prohibition of wearing women's clothing. Women are concerned about their appearance and their look. Women want to make sure that they are beautiful. Women want to make sure that there are no blemishes in their hair, on their face, and the like. And if a man is busy looking in the mirror, and examining his white hairs and removing them one by one because he wants to look prettier, he wants to look better, he doesn't want to acknowledge the age that is coming upon him. So those are the ways of the women, and therefore a man is not allowed to do this. Says the Chavetz Chaim, that's all Isri Deraisa, says the Chavetz Chaim. 
And the rabbis added on the following. A man is not allowed to shave off his armpit hairs, nor is he allowed to shave off his pubic hairs in his private areas. Why? As we'll see, or somebody who does, a person removes hairs under his armpits or in his, in his private parts. That's where women remove their hair. And therefore, you now are doing it as a man. A person will end up getting lashes as well. As a result, he's acting as a woman, not as a man. Nevertheless, other limbs of his body, if he wants to remove the hair of misparayim with scissors, not with razors apparently, but with scissors, the komokam, he would be allowed to do such a thing. That's a little bit more natural even for a man to do apparently, and he would not get punished. This applies everywhere, ubechozman, all the time. That means that it applies in Los Angeles, California, in America, in 2022 that a man is supposed to dress like a man and he's supposed to cut his hair like a man and not dress like a woman, not color his nails like a woman, not shave his armpits and his pubic areas like a woman, not, not remove hairs where he's showing his vanity like a woman. He has to act like a man. All of these things are to enforce who we are. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made a world where there are men and there are women. There are clear cut differences in physically, physiologically, biologically, emotionally, and the like. And when a, when a man or a woman begins to dress like the opposite sex, and they do things that the opposite sex does, they are losing their perception of their essence of who they truly are, and they will not appreciate nor value nor understand what it means to be born into the gender that HaKadosh Baruch Hu put them into. And sadly, we are watching a world that, is, that is, has a demise in this area of life, in denying the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world in certain ways that are the perfection of the Rebbein Nishailam, there are men and there are women, and we each have a task, and we each have a purpose, and each of us is supposed to find what that is as we are. And when a person plays around with God's world, when they play around with the way that HaKadosh Baruch created them, Nebach, unfortunately, unfortunately will lose the connection that they have to who they really are, and they will never be able to fulfill the purpose for which they came into this world for. And that's why he leaves on, This is something that applies everywhere, in all of the time, always, in every generation. Let's not forget, HaKadosh Baruch is the master of the universe, he is the creator of the universe, and he knows very well what he is doing and how he creates us. And we have to appreciate that and to embrace that and recognize the true essence that is inside of us in order that each and every one of us can fulfill the tafkid, the purpose, and the mission for which HaKadosh Baruch Hu brought us into this world to achieve. Have a wonderful day.